Hello everyone. This is Grade 5, Module 6, Lesson 16 Homework. Directions for 1 state use the coordinate plane below to complete the following tasks. A says draw P, Q. Well, I see P and Q are already on there, so I'm going to put a line connecting them to make them a segment. So there's my segment, P, Q. Uh, B says plot point R, 3, 8. So i got to go over 3, which is right here. So I gotta go X and then Y, and then I gotta go up to eight, which is right here. So here's point R, and now it says uh, draw segment PR. So I'm gonna connect my point R and P. So there's my segment PR there in red, uh, and it says explain how you know that angle RPQ is a right angle without measuring it. Um, and uh, here's how I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to count over from P, because this is where they're uh, kind of making their intersection to get my perpendicular lines, because remember, perpendicular lines create a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to go uh, count my uh, base and height here. So there's two, three, four, and one. So um, I have a height of one and technically a base of four. So now I'm going to do the opposite. I need to do a uh, height of one, or a base of one, and a height of four. And that's how I can check it. And if I go... Uh, a height of 4 so 1, 2, 3, 4 and then a base of 1 so I took it and like flipped it upright so my 4 was here my 1 was here as my height now I've gone and put the 1 here and my height there to see there's my 90 and there's my 90 and I know that those right triangles are equal and they're uh, going to hit right at that point to make this a 90 degree angle. So uh, you'll put in your explanation for it. I made right triangles out of those and know that when I have a, a base and a height measurement I can flip those uh, meaning my height was 1 and my base was 4 for this other one over here my height is now 4, and my base is now 1. Uh, matching up those two angles to create that 90 degree right here. So uh, that's uh, for D. Let's take a look uh, at E. It says, compare the coordinates of P and Q. What is the difference of the X coordinates and then the Y coordinates? So the difference just means uh, subtracting them. So P, uh, the X coordinate is 2. Q, the X coordinate is 6. So the difference between those is 4. And then uh, for the Y coordinate, for P, it's 4. And for uh, Q, it's 3. So the difference between 4 and 3 is 1. Now i got to take a look for F. It says compare the coordinates of P and R. So what is the difference between the X and the Y? So same thing, difference means we're going to subtract them. So uh, P, again, uh, the X is 2. For R, the X is 3. So that's going to be one of a difference. And then for my Y, I have to go up for the uh, coordinate. So I'll start at... Um, P and I got to go over 2, sorry, and then up to 4. So there's the Y of 4. And then for R, which is way up here, I had to go over 3 and up to 8. So the difference of 8 and 4 is 4. Now, G says, what is the relationship of the differences you found in parts E and F to the triangles of which these two segments are a part? So um, I notice 1 and 4 
and four and one. That's my differences. Four and one, one and four. They look very familiar to the uh, measurements of the base and the height for my right rectangle. So uh, you're going to be talking a little bit about that for your uh, relationship there um, that you're talking with for the differences. Let's take a look at page two. So here we are on page two, and we're going to have a very similar thing, just using fractions now. Um, so I'll get started, and I'll probably do down through D uh, at least. So for the first part, it says draw C and B. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to draw my segment CB. So I did CB. Now i got to plot um, my point D, and it says one-half and then five and a half. So here's one half right here and now I gotta go up to five and a half which is right up here on the left so I'll plot right there and I'm gonna label it D and I see I gotta draw CD now so I gotta connect those to make a segment. So there's my segment CD uh, and now I gotta explain how do I know that DCB is a right angle without measuring it and and I know that in order to check this I'm going to make uh, right triangles with it and the big thing that I have to keep in mind is this point C might not exactly be where it's supposed to be because I believe it's supposed to be right here uh, and that would mean B goes right there for some reason this is off so uh, I want to make sure that they're actually where I can measure them so I, that's why I'm going to do this part so uh, I got one two as my base and one two three is my height and now I have uh, one two three is my base and one two as my height so that's why I know that these um, are going to create a 90 degree angle because I checked their right angle measurements and I'm drawing them in, in purple now uh, just so you uh, no, because that's kind of difficult to see because the points are off on this one. Um, so I wanted to at least do that. Now you can go through and do E, F, and G, very similar to the way that we did it on the last page. Compare the X and Y coordinates of B and C, and then compare the X and Ys of C and D, and then do that explanation again with the relationship. So the last part says... Uh, line ST contains the following points, 2, 3, and 9, 6. Give the coordinates of pair of points U and V such that ST and UV are perpendicular. So what you'll want to do with this, uh, there's a couple ways you can handle it. Um, you can figure out the relationship between those and come up with your points, or you can take those coordinates and plot those on a coordinate plane and then find your right triangle uh, measurements for base and height uh, to figure out where the perpendicular will come in. Um, a couple different options for it, but I'm going to leave that up to you because there's a couple ways to solve that one. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps, and good luck on the rest of your homework.